and welcome back to the second hour of the show. That you're listening to Good Morning Marlow here at yeah. Marlow FM. Me, with, me and you. With a fabulous Jeff Motley oh, and you wonderful are Mary Flavel. This, this only cost me a fiver an hour. And we're now in local company with we the, have. the lovely Tabitha. We've Hello. Got Tabitha Bevan with him, of famous of the tuneless choir. Hmm. Now, She's tuneless choir person. You've got you, you've got to ask the question, Tabitha. Are they tuneless? Well, <laughs> it's amazing. Whenever we go out and perform, and like we get the comment, "Oh, they're not that tuneless." It's actually not that helpful for us because we really want people to know that if they cannot hold a tune or they have zero vocal talent, they can definitely join us. Right. So, I would say that we follow the tune. Um, it's a bit like being at a football match. So if everybody's singing a song, it's sort of power in numbers, the bell curve of singing. Right. Enough people hit close enough to the right note that it might sound tune fullish <laughs> to uh, an untrained ear. But um, there's, definite, there's definitely some people who... Uh, I'd, I'd, I'd like to say that all growlers, groaners, squeakers, squawkers, they're all welcome. Hey, you, I, know you, I know you do a lot of charity stuff like for Mind, don't mm-hmm. you? Why Mind? Um, I think it's very clear how good the benefits of singing are for everybody from a mind, body and soul perspective. Um, I think my personal sort of background and history, I've I've experienced a number of sort of burnouts in my time. Um, I'm no sort of stranger to um, a whole range of sort of mental wealth and mental health sort Mm -hmm. of challenges. Um, So that's something I'm personally experienced with. Um, And then seeing how wonderful what we do at tuneless can be for people's mental health um it 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 felt like the right charity for us to support and i'm i'm we're one of many tuneless choirs and so all across the country Mm. we we support mind and i think overall the tuneless choirs across the country have raised over thirty thousand pounds for mind since 2018 Mm. and for our part we've raised over ten thousand pounds of that in maidenhead well done um and and yeah, um, we like to we like to support local charities. And, and what's great is actually that that money's now going right back into the local community. So Buckinghamshire Mind and the um, East Berkshire Friends in Need group. Um, so anything that we raise goes to help our direct local community. Oh, that's amazing. That's fantastic. Well done. Well what? done. How do you actually raise money? Do you charge for appearing places and then put a fee in or what? Or just <laughs> buckets out? <laughs> There's all, all sorts of things that we've done. We have... Uh, filled smarty tubes with 20 peas so one summer oh that's cool pre-pandemic um sent everybody home with a tube of smarties and said over the summer fill it up and bring it back that played havoc with my fillings when i realized they weren't smart <laughs> <laughs> brilliant um that's really cool that one there was a wonderful event called crafts and laughs which we partnered with craft coop in town um and we had a, a whole day of crafting activities and comedians um and music um down at what was sports able um i think we raised about three thousand pounds from that um yeah buckets out when we do performances um if people want to um have us along to sing then we do say it would be great if you could put a donation in the pot um we've had raffles we've had quizzes and tonight is our sixth birthday party ah six Um, years can you imagine all i remember you starting yeah and uh what i've said is if people would like to add a six pound donation to mind um, and i'm pleased to say we've already raised over two 200 pounds for this evening so oh, that's, that's our lovely. latest latest fundraising effort it's it's a it's it sounds like ded- dedication and devotion but la bevan here <laughs> she is in fact a absolute star i mean i, I look, i've been in the old showbiz for years and i think I it's amazing <laughs> she's she does it she does it well it's so lovely to have jeff know, as a cheerleader Yes, thank you. And the the ten pound note that you've just put <laughs> is very grateful. I'm very grateful for it. Yep. How did you get into, t- oh, into tuners? No, I'm going to turn his fader off again. <laughs> yeah, I want to know how did you get into tuners? It's a good question, one I haven't thought about recently. Um, I actually have a past life, I like to call it, in corporate HR. Um, So started my career at John Lewis in retail management and then went through sort of investment banking and then ended up working at PepsiCo. And uh, as I alluded to, I've I've experienced burnout um, and decided that it was time to do something different. Um, So I left the corporate world and I really had no idea what I was going to be doing. Um, So I spent some time being curious about what filled my heart up and what I was interested in and singing was one of them. So just by sort of turning my attention towards, yeah, things that, things that fill me with joy, um, I 
still can't remember where I saw Tuneless Choir sort of advertised. Um, but the first ever one actually only started six months before we launched, which was in Bre- West Bridgeford in Nottingham. Um, and so I saw it and I got in contact with them, um, said, I think I could probably do this. Um, had a chat with Nadine and Bernie. Um, and Nadine is? Nadine is the founder. So oh, right. she is somebody who is self-confessed tuneless. Um, she loved performing as a child, but had one of those experiences where the music teacher basically said to her, um, would you please stop singing? You're spoiling it for everyone else. Oh, horrible person. How charming yeah. is that? Oh, I know. I've, I've, yeah. I've heard that, that little tale teachers. before and it's just... Yes. Oh, well, I'm, I am more than happy that she grew out of it, grew through it and established herself. I know, but it rocks you for life, it's comments absolutely. like that. It's really scarring. Especially from, wow. you know, people of, of authority like that. Yeah. Mm. Um, so she approached Bernie, who is our musical director for Tuneless Squires, um, and I think the conversation initially was Bernie saying, but everybody can sing, um, and the challenge being, that's not the point. We just want people to enjoy singing regardless of how they sound, embracing whatever noises come out of their mouth with no pressure at all mm. to learn or to get better. And that's sort of a big difference with Tuneless Choir versus a lot of the other choirs that are out there. But you've done performances in Windsor Castle. <laughs> I know. How cool was that? <laughs> it was really cool. And it's always astounded us that people actually want to hear us perform. But I think it's the... The exuberance and the energy that comes with people just letting go and going, yeah, we're having a great time regardless of how we sound. Where did you you do it in? Where where were you in Windsor Castle? We were in St George's Hall. No. Yes, in front of the big Christmas tree. I know. Oh, so beautiful. I've seen the pictures there. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. And we sung on the South Bank, would you believe? Well. They did. It's part of the choirs festival. Oh, that's, well, you know, not everybody gets in there. No, say. no, and then so we why were... did you? Um, it's <laughs> okay, well, why yeah. not? Who did you have to sleep with? Did you get that happen? <laughs> well, it's... now you mention it. <laughs> <laughs> we just sent Jeff in. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's one that of those things. Stu- you wouldn't have got over the door then. I um, I see opportunities and I go, <laughs> that looks fun. So um, so we grab them. Ooh. Same as the long walk on Saturday. So we were part of the Jubilee celebrations. Oh. Yeah, how was that on the long walk? It was wonderful um, and great to see the choir back out in force. So I think we had about 50. And when the wow. tuneless choir are asked to dress up, I mean, Christmas is a sight to behold. The amount of headgear and fairy lights and baubles that people drape themselves in. So when we gave them I the red, that. white and blue challenge, my goodness, they looked they looked adorable in Union Jacks and bunting and flags and hats and... Oh, fantastic. I it love it. great. That. Yeah. I've just been looking at uh, tuneless choirs. There's, uh, I'm looking at High Wycombe, Sherwood, Shippenham, Wallingford. Yeah, the two lo- Castle, most local to here. Southampton, Sittingbourne of all places. Oh, why not? How lovely is that? Sutton Coalfield. Yeah, I think it's about, over, about 30 now. 30. And we have a virtual option, which I also run on a Tuesday night now. So post-pandemic... We sing like no one's listening online for people who can't get out to a, oh, an in-person that. choir. Mm. That's lovely. And we call it virtually tuneless. Virtu- virtu- virtually, virtually tuneless. Virtually tuneless. <laughs> and don't listen to what the neighbours are saying. I do, but I've seen some of the choirs and because sometimes there's so many of them, there's like too many. Yeah. Uh, and then it, it's it trying to get so many people to sing one note at exactly the same moment <laughs> is... It's is, a skill. Yeah, it's, well, it's a miracle. Mm. <laughs> that too. <laughs> is what it is. You know, and whenever you, you watch, what do you call him, Gareth, you know, with yep. the choir thing, what he has achieved with that simple little idea... He created a monster, didn't he? He did because it's it the stuff he's done is phenomenal. Yeah, and and there's definitely room for I think for all of the choirs that are out there because singing is something that's so accessible to all of us. Yeah. But because of those stories from school, we forget that actually it's something that we can choose to do even if we're not any good at it. Yeah. But if you can hold a tune, there is something really beautiful about creating harmonies with people. Uh-huh. But then on the tuneless side, there's just something really beautiful about letting go and just singing anyway. Oh, there is. I'm so loving her. She's great. <laughs> I know. What, <laughs> what sort of songs do you use? Um, so we have to go for what's popular, basically. Oh, right. So um, because we don't really teach, um, but we don't, yeah, we don't teach. We might familiarise ourselves with songs, um, but we kind of go for anything. So the set that we did on Saturday went right from the 1950s to the 2020s. So we oh, had cool. Singing in the Rain for the 50s. We had Daydream Believer, Dancing oh, Queen. Oh, Daydream Believer. Um, it's the monkeys. 
I would walk. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I would walk five hundred miles. Yeah, proclaimers. Then Wonderwall. We had Coldplay's Viva La Vida. We had Valerie, and then it's very hard to find songs from this decade <laughs> that a lot of people would know. Yeah. So we cheated by doing things like The Wellerman, um, which was the sea shanty that got quite quite popular. All right, okay. Yeah, it did. But for our performance, we went for the single Thank You, Your Majesty, which I know yeah. you had Chris in last week um, from the Air Raid Shelter Cafe. And I loved his little song, I have to yeah, say. Yeah, so we sang that live yeah. in Windsor on Saturday. Did you? Yeah. I'll tell you what, we'll have a break and I'll play it again now. Fabulous. Um, just give me half an hour to find it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I think, I think Tuneless brings people together and gives them a chance to shine in a way they never thought they could. No, absolutely. Would you agree? Absolutely. Yeah, you and see. just thinking about some of the community stories and the friendships that I've seen formed over the last six years, um, I will, if I think too much about it, I might get a little bit choked up. Mm. But yeah. it's just, it's it's been the best thing I've ever done and it's so beautiful. Well, you should be very proud of yourself. Thank you. Because I, I know the success that it's had and I've got the song, let's listen. I, you know, as he said, it's cheesy, but do you know what? It's so sweet. Oh, the intention is so the positive with it. The intention is brilliant. And it's cheesy and you can dance along and, you, yeah, it's yeah. fabulous. Here we go. Thank you, Your Majesty. Thank you, ma'am. There we are. There oh, we are. I there we are. Just love it. I love it too. Do you like? I that? love a happy song. Yeah, I know. And and I love I love the story that goes with that song. The kind the old boy, bless his little heart. Sorry, what I've got. Tom Pierce. Tom, Tom Pierce. Pierce. John. John. Tom John. Pierce. Yeah. John at the end. Ah, you know. And, and look, it was so wonderful on Saturday getting the audience to learn the dance routine. And I basically, so for every thank you, you just make a heart shape. And I was just like, send all your love towards the castle because we actually know the Queen is there. So to be able to sing that within viewing distance of oh, Windsor Castle was then. just oh, lovely. That's lovely. Yeah. So we've got we've got two events actually in July. So Cornbury Music Festival um, is the weekend of the eighth to the tenth of July, and that's going to be a tuneless choirs united sort of get together. Um, so like I said, hundred hundred people on stage from tuneless leading a mass sing along um, for everybody. I think it's about lunchtime on the when, uh, on the Sunday, right. um, and then we are very excited as tuneless choir Maidenhead to be going back to the Maidenhead Festival at the end of July on the 23rd so that's something we've done in the past but it obviously hasn't happened for the last couple of years but it used to be sing along with Max and he used to have these drippy hands and he was <laughs> singing these all the popular songs and it was a sing along and people were saying that the one thing they found over this weekend through the Jubilee where the sing songs oh, yes. were everybody joining in it's it's deep in our human nature to to, to sing and to make noises together. Is, yeah. Like if you if you go way, 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 way back, um, I think songs and storytelling was the way that things got passed down. Um, so it's so natural. It's such a natural thing for us to do, but we've had all of these layers that have gone on top to say, oh, you should only do it if you're really good at it. Um, so yeah, ne never say never say never to a to a tuneless album. I must say, taking about I think thirty it's a of the gang. Idea. Yeah, sing alongs. The, yeah, to the recording studio. They yeah. were they were like kids at Christmas, um, or kids in a sweet shop. Um, so having about thirty or so people who really don't think that they can sing in tune, being in a recording studio was they were just there was so much giddiness around. Oh, absolutely. It was wonderful. Well you can be childlike in there, can't it's a dream, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. I'm who didn't want to be a Bob star? Everybody I did. everybody. <laughs> Oh, I love a little bit of the you. Uh, do you like that? Oh, I do. A bit of Gina one. G. Yeah, well, you see, it's, it's a game. It's she all bouncy, very isn't well it? It's a happy song. It is. I love happy music. Yes, we like happy. Now, we need to know how to get hold of you because, like, there's a lot of people out there who really say, "I would love to sing, but I don't hold a note." Absolutely. And actually, normal. I, th I would say nine out of ten people put their hand up just if if I said. 
can you not sing? Like a lot of people yeah. will put their hands up. So we sing like no one is listening pretty much every Wednesday evening at the United Reformed Church in Maidenhead um, from 8 till 9.15. Um, tonight we don't have a usual session because we've got our sixth birthday party. Oh. Um, so that's at the North Happy Maidenhead birthday, uh, Cricket Club. Oh, um, how many men and women is there? Is it so at the moment, so I think, like I said, we had about 50 on stage on Saturday. I think we had 56 at the last session, but we've been around sort of like 40, 45 people. Yeah. Before the pandemic, we were about 70 to 80 every week. Wow. So yeah. we've got plenty of room for new members to yeah. come and join us. I would say... If you looked at the ratio of people that go to the pub afterwards, you'd think the, the choir was 90% male, but <laughs> it's probably about 80, I'm, 20 I'm female. A problem. Yeah. Um, so, um, so, yeah, m- more women come than men to these kind of things right. as, yes. as, as per usual. But the guys all know how to go to the bar afterwards. Absolutely. Got um, it. And, <laughs> and, we, and we do sing a range of songs which are either by female or, or male artists. Yes. Yeah. Um, so we've we've kind of got it all covered. So yeah, Wednesday nights is is basically the best party you could possibly have in Maidenhead. Um, yeah. It's so uplifting. Like I challenge anybody to come in and not leave with a smile on their face, even if they are, um, if 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 they're determined to not have a good time. I think we can even sway 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 those people. And it's just about coming and giving it a go. If you think you might like it, um, then yeah, just just come just and join and watch us. Then go and, and watch if and see. even the miseries come and their misery is evaporated <laughs> absolutely and if wednesday nights doesn't work for people then the the two other local choirs to hear are in high wickham and wallingford and as i said we have virtually tuneless on a tuesday evening from eight till nine in the zoom room um which i run most weeks um and that's that's six pounds um on online and then in person um it's ten pounds for new people to come and then it's eight pounds pay as you go but we also have some term deals which makes it six pound per session so Lovely. we'd like to think it's it's still afford- affordable for people yeah absolutely it's there you go way. and how can they get in touch with you so you can find me either on facebook under tuneless choir maidenhead on instagram at tuneless tabitha um or our web page is www.tunelesschoir.com forward slash maidenhead there you go guys I'll put that information on our Facebook yeah, page as well too the, at the put end. Put it on the Facebook page. Yes. Fabulous. And we picture did. Anyway, it's been absolutely super. I've loved listening about the children's choir and, and it, yes, lovely to see we've been talking about you for ages, so it's lovely, really lovely to see you in, in the flesh as it was. Thank so you thank so you for much coming for in. Me.